back to the channel and a new video. Um, today we're going to be working on the uh, flat top, 90 feet flat top. I know we said that our first video once we got into the shop was going to be on the 94 silver peat that's sitting outside, but we pulled this one in here because we just got it uh, yesterday, right? Yep. And up. if you guys would have seen, uh, we posted a, a video on Instagram of it revving and it sounded pretty good, but we, uh, we can't really get this in the spot yet because the stacks are too tall and they're gonna hit the heaters up there. A little bit of a problem. Yeah, so we're gonna start taking off some stuff on this truck, the stacks obviously, so we can hopefully try to get it back in that spot or even just backed up so we can get the sil silver truck in here as well. Um, but we'll be ripping off some other stuff so we can, you know, uh, just smaller stuff, not too big. Um, so that's truck well, probably is the stacks, the mirrors, visor, horns, lights, bumpers, breathers, bumpers, steps, fenders, mother flat, a lot of a lot of little stuff. So let's dive into it. So the first thing we're gonna do is take off these mud flaps back here. Uh, it's pretty simple. So. guys so dave and i we beat the living crap out of this thing didn't want to move we had issues with this in the 359 so i guess when in doubt just grind it out Scrap pile. So this is the passenger fender. If it's anything like the driver's fender, we're not screwing with it. We're just gonna grind it out. Break. Beat daddy. We just finished ripping off the rear end there. And, or not the rear end, rear end still intact. The fenders, half our quarter fenders over there, and as well as the mud flap brackets. Now we're gonna take these off, and then we're gonna turn our attention to the front half of the truck. But these we noticed are actually huck riveted on. So, which tells us that either somebody had access to a huck rivet gun when they put these on, which is highly unlikely because they're super expensive, or these came on when the truck was new. So if that's the case, being that this is a 1990, these things have been on here a while, so it's probably gonna be a little bit of a pain to get these off, but we're gonna go ahead and give it a shot and see what we can do. Piece off. Only three more to go. Mm -hmm. No, my math's wrong. It's too late for math. Drop handle, not lights. That's a scrap pile, right? Huh? Scrap pile? Yeah, well, except or, for these. Uh, yeah, those goes on the side of the retin hour. But those yeah, goes. Those goes, but yeah, scrap pile. But we might, you know, these probably might keep. These yeah, the keep. Peterbilt ones will keep, but those, so those quarter fenders. Yeah, they're pretty rare. Every time we have those quarter fenders, they've been on there for a while. They always seem to be roached. Yeah, and I mean, we, I would like to keep these. They're pretty nice, but they're all bent up up top. And, you know, we're going to try to fix this truck up. Like, really What are we going nice. to put? Are we going to put some fiberglass ones here? Are we going to do those drop fenders in the front? Maybe those, like, half fenders or quarter fenders that come all the way down, I think, would look cool here. The ones that drape all the way down or yeah something, something i don't know we haven't decided yet still got a long ways to go before we get there but so. those orange fenders yep bam that's our plan put them on the 59 pink truck the orange color get that looking real nice too so good we're gonna have two flat tops the burgundy and cream puff right here and then the orange. big orange monster over there yep. all right well let's get back to it let's try to get these pipes now
the stacks off. Yeah, this one came off pretty easy. We weren't, this is the first time, you know, we took stacks That's off the truck because yeah. the 359 didn't have stacks or anything on it. So we weren't sure the weight or anything like that. We did put the ones on the 379, so we were able to guess a little bit as far as how heavy, but it came off pretty easy. They definitely, whoever had this truck before us definitely took the time to put, you know, rubbers, put it, make sure it was all right. It's just, these weren't the ones that we, we want on that truck. Eventually yeah. we're gonna put big eight inch with the pricket elbows, you know, eight inch to the Y and the turbo up. Yeah, make it Probably 13, six high like these were. So these but are these, definitely sweet and we'll definitely keep them in the shop for, you know, if, if we need to throw a quick set of stacks on or- Yeah, they're nice. Want to put- they might, maybe, maybe we should just cut them, make them a stove top too. We could, I mean, but these are kind of nice as is. It's a one piece pipe. I mean, it's a solid, solid deal. Yeah, it's, it's, it's nice. They're pretty new too. I don't think they no. really have seen and these are pretty Damn expensive. I mean, these are nice pipes, and we'll keep these around because we'll definitely repurpose these and use them. Yeah, these right. are awesome. Now let's get that other side off. Nope. First, we got we're, we're oh, working our way up the truck on this side. So now we got to do the uh, the light panels under the cab. And then we'll do those light panels, and then I think we're gonna we'll tweet, probably we, take the breathers off and the visor off too. Maybe the breathers. We'll definitely take these lights off right now. Yep. And then the visor, we didn't tell you guys, but the visor, because we need a visor for the 94 silver truck. And obviously this truck's not going on the road for a while. So we're actually, and that's pretty good shape. That's like brand new, it looks like. They definitely put on new stacks, new visor. The new lights. New lights here. Air cleaner lights. And even the breathers look partially new they don't look like they were the factory ones that came on here so yeah so we're definitely going to take that we're going to throw it on the uh silver 94 and then strip off the lights and stuff up top yeah well we do that with every truck so yep. it shouldn't it's not anything new all right let's get these light panels taken off now oh right off there we go another thing off it's easy to take trucks apart hard parts Harder putting them back together There we go. Put that trash pad. So we're trying to get these uh, air cleaner lights off and we were trying to, you know, Ryan was in there with the wrench on the back side because it's a nylon nut. It's not the actual pre-threaded. The bottom hole. one is, the top one is the pre-threaded, which we can nail out in a second, but that bottom one, just over the years, so much corrosion on the nut that it's like seized yeah, someone in. put that. So we decided we're just gonna pop the air cleaners off. It's only four, four or five bolts or something, so. That's true. That's what, it would be a lot easier. Like usual, Dave and I run into problems. The bottom one, that pre-threaded nut stayed in there. But of course, this top one up there, you can't really see with the light, is walking. So as we're spinning this bolt, that inside piece is also spinning. So Dave took a pair of needle nose vices and he's trying to Get hold the, the back side so that way we can then strip out the nut. He's trying to do it the right way. I propose let's just chop the band, but with the grinder while we're on the grinder kick, but Dave's trying to be sensible here. Kind of rivet nut that's on there. You can see I'm moving it. That's not so, right. I mean, these bottom ones probably gonna go bad soon too. So you know, it'd be nice, honestly, if well, we can find new brackets. Yeah, new brackets or the bracket looks fine. It's just that piece that that's walking around. So we could probably find. Well, you can see right here, it looks a little bent up too. Yeah. So probably end up replacing this bracket as well. What do you yeah. think? Yeah, probably. But we got her off. So in doing this, uh, Dave and I made this kind of miraculous discovery. Miraculous, I don't even know if that's a word. Miraculous discovery. This is a Peterbilt breather. The breather on the other side is a Vortec brand breather. So they're different breathers. And when we really start looking at this cow panel specifically, you can see there's pop rivets here. All through up about here. And then um, some really good rivet jobs here as well. With and just bolts the, and silicone. Yeah, bolts and silicone. I feel like this truck is just filled with silicone. But you know what? I'm glad we discovered this because it looks like there was some kind of damage here. Because you even come down here, it's a big indent. Yeah. So what we're going to have to do is 
find a way to get heat this up a little bit, bend it back out, and then obviously do a skim coat of Bondo. Try to use as little as possible and try to bring this out so that way this is kind of flush before we put Bondo in it. So this truck must have taken some kind of damage here because if it didn't, there would be no pop rivets and no awesome rivet jobs here. So we'll go ahead and fix this when we actually start all the body working phase. But this side's done. We decided we're not gonna tackle the roof today because we gotta pop down the headliner. I mean, there is, you know, this truck has its full interior in it right now. So. <laughs> no, it's just a headliner. Just a headliner. Cow. But we don't feel like messing with that right now. Um, We'll wait till our other brothers out here. Just three hands makes it a lot easier to do it. That's six hands, not. Yeah, it's late. I can't add. All right, oh. but we're gonna get started on the, on other, the other side. side yeah. Now, if that's not redneck ingenuity, I don't know what is. Pop out the light out of the breather lights here and loosen up this clamp. this air cleaner off and the air cleaner lights um, but we had the issue these were actually fine unlike the other side but down here uh, this rivet or nut rivet whatever you call it inside the cab is spinning so we can't get that bolt out and this one's fine so we're gonna have to address that later we'll get I mean it'll come out or oh it's gonna come out but we'll have to somehow put another one in there or, or do something but We'll address that later. That's the GoPro turning off. That's the GoPro acting up. Um, but for now, we're just gonna keep on getting our way back and taking these off, these, and maybe the horns down there. Uh, I think the horns are actually held on by a bungee strap, if I'm not mistaken. No, they're all broke off. Oh, well yeah. that should make it easy then. Yeah. All right, well let's get to her. This one's a little more difficult. We actually had to cut the flex because it was just like corroded down. together. Yeah. Yeah, well, we, uh, yeah, we got it off. Whoa, don't hit me. One last piece. I think that's the last piece of the night, Dave. Yep, I think we're done there. 